Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School 1. What we're going to discuss this morning is often called the SAMI repair kit or the SAMI needle case. And we'll discuss that in depth and I'm going to show you how to make a real quick and simple one here in just a minute. Stay with me. Okay, so before we get started, let's talk about the culture that this item comes from because this item is made from eastern woodland materials. It would have traditionally been made from antler material, probably reindeer antler. The Sami people, or the Laplanders as we know them in the U.S., were reindeer herders. They're also sheep herders as well as fishermen. They live in the far north areas of the Scandinavian countries. And we most often associate the Sami people with people of Finland. And they have a deep-rooted culture in woodcraft and bushcraft. And I think that in itself is very respectable and gives us reason to more look into the ways that they do things and the items that they use and they carried every day that they considered to be important to them. And this type of repair or sewing kit would have been carried by that culture of people and still is to this day in some cases, although today it's more decorative than it used to be. It used to be a utilitarian item that was carried especially by women but also by men to repair clothing on the fly while they were out doing herding of reindeer while they were out on hunts and things like that their clothing needed to be repaired they carried this type of repair kit with them and it's a very simple concept you basically have a hollow tube and in this case I'm using bamboo and you can see I've started to decorate it by carving out a basket weave pattern in it and it has an antler plug on the end of it and it's again it's a very simple shield or covering for repair items and the way this one is made is it has just a piece of leather loop through it or leather thong through it that adjusts this way so that it can be worn on the belt doesn't hang as low when it's completely stretched out and you would pull this plug from the bottom through the tube to expose the items inside and inside there is a piece of leather and in this case it has some small diameter bank line and three different size sail needles they would have had probably animal sinew in here and bone needles. I'm sure they had access to metal needles as well and probably kept them in there and still do to this day for that matter. But in the beginning, there would have been bone needles and sinew in here most likely, although now modern materials would be used. So all you did was you took and you could wind this thread or sinew around your needles if you wanted to. But all I did was take an extra piece of leather here and put a thong through this piece of bamboo. And then all I do is roll this bank line up inside like this into a barrel basically. And that barrel gets pulled up inside of this tube just like this and stops at the plug. It hangs upside down so water is not going to get inside of it. And then this is just adjustable to adjust down to the bottom like this. And it's got a T-toggle on it here like this of coyote bone these are just coyote leg bone beads here and this can be hung on the belt and it's carried in this fashion again like I said the ones that the Sami people carry now and used to carry and if you look this up on the internet it's much easier to find examples of this if you look up the word Nahus and I'm probably pronouncing that way off but it's N-A-L-H-U-S Nahus if you look that word up on Google search, you'll see lots of examples of this made by indigenous peoples. And most of them, like I said, will be bone. And they're very, very simple to make. So what we're going to do today is, really fast, I'm going to show you how to make a simple one. Like I said, I used bamboo for this one. Bamboo is an indigenous material to my area, as well as antler, coyote bone, and things like that. You can use whatever you want. If you wanted to make one of these that was more modern, you could probably just take a 12 gauge shotgun shell, punch the primer out of it, put a piece of leather thong through it, and draw it up through the bottom, and you could make one out of a 12 gauge shotgun shell. My buddy John McCann suggested yesterday on a board we were discussing this item that you could use PVC. Obviously that would be another tubular item that would be very easy to come by, very simple to work with. Okay, so what we're going to use to make this one, very simple, we've got a bamboo cut off at the node here, cut off above the node here to give us the tube, drilled through here to give us our hollow tube. And then I have one coyote bead here that we'll use on the bottom as a stopper. 
and then we have some brain tan leather here that we're going to use and we're going to cut a strip of this to go up through the middle very very simple so let's get that cut real quick okay so to cut our leather we're just going to take our knife and stick it in the stump just like this and then we're going to take this leather and cut the strip the width we need and I'm going to make it a little bit wider just like this and I'm going to just kind of pull it down like this to cut the strip that I need and I'm going to give myself a piece that's a fairly long thong here just like that and that's what we're going to use today all right so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our bamboo here and we're going to hollow this out really good to make sure we got a good hole in there really easy to punch a hole through this bamboo with this metal awl and then we just want to feed this through the hole and get it all the way through to the bottom by bunching it up like this and we're just going to push that all the way down inside there until it comes out the other end just like that so once you have that simple piece of leather through there then you can just put whatever you want for a stop on this back end could be a coyote leg bone bead like this one could be a simple ring many of the ones I've seen in original photographs and things like that had a simple ring which was probably just a cut off piece of the antler could be a cut off piece of this bamboo with a thick enough wall that would pull up inside and stop sideways you'd have a ring hanging at the bottom with some fringing or whatever off the bottom of that and that would just keep the contents from coming all the way through although you have things inside that leather so it's not going to pull through so I think that was more decorative than anything else at the bottom or gave you something to grab onto to pull the contents or draw the contents out of the tube but you can do whatever you want with that like I said it's very very simple what I've done with mine is very simple as well there's nothing to this project at all what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue to do some decorative work on this and the way I'm going to do that is by scratching the bamboo very similar to the way you would do with a piece of antler or anything like that and then I'm going to stain it by using charcoal so I've just drawn these lines on here to begin with and now I'm just scratching them across the grain with my awl and you could use a carving knife for this too like a carving jack or whatever the case may be you could use any of that stuff as well and I carry a carving jack with me a lot of times to do this kind of stuff with because this makes that makes real simple etching but if you all you had was this all you could be sitting around camp and you could get this done easy enough with this all and what I want to show you is how to stain this when you're done and the way to do that is just get in your bottom of your fire somewhere and find yourself some black charcoal in your fire like this and just smash it down into a powder as fine as you can get it you might have to use a rock or something like that to smash it down with but the powder is what you want and then you take that powder and you rub it into those lines that you've created just like this you can see the lines that I've already carved in there coming out very very pronounced right there now you can see those lines really really well and even when you wipe this down or oil it up that charcoal is going to be inside those lines so just make sure that you get a good dose of powder in there and it should stay when you're done very very simple very simple process to do once you rub that wet charcoal in there with your hands and wipe it down you can see what that crosshatch pattern is starting to look like and you just got to kind of I drew it on there with a pencil and then I'm just kind of following the lines the best I can with my awl 
to make a basket weave type pattern around the bottom of this thing. And you can make this thing as fancy or as unfancy as you want to make it. Folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining me out here today for this short video on the Sammy Repair Kit. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for my school, for my family, for our business, for all of our instructors, sponsors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back in the video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.